Okay, okay. Hello, this is Christmas Eve 2016 and it must be at least two or three years since I did my last video. Um, what I've been doing since then? Well, I've done a fair bit of painting, uh, but I have to admit that um, I'm not original. A lot of the stuff is copies of Francis Bacon's work and, um, and people like that. I've, over the last two months or three months, I've been busy building, and I don't mean paying contractors to do it, but literally building myself a small mini art gallery at the bottom of the garden which contains mainly my larger copies of Francis Bacon paintings. I like Francis Bacon's colours, but one thing that worries me about Francis Bacon is that he very, seems to me, and much from my point of view, seems to be very introverted. He paints a lot about his immediate sort of friends and acquaintances and his life in the Soho area of London and really didn't develop, not, I don't know what, a lot about it, but in my opinion didn't seem to develop much over the years till he died in 1992. His, um, the, the pictures he did of John Edwards are very similar to the pictures he did of George Dyer and, um, and that's just my opinion. So, but I do like his work. But when I was painting his, or copying his work, I put a completely different emphasis on the interpretation of the work than perhaps he would have. Because George Dyer means nothing to me, and John Edwards meant, meant nothing to me, or means nothing to me. Um, so, and people like Isabel Rothstein, who I liked the paintings he did of her, um, I didn't know who she was, but I did like the paintings that he did. So I've done quite a few paintings like that. So a lot of paintings are uh, copies. I have some original stuff that I don't profess to be a great artist, obviously, and uh, it's very unlikely that they will have any earth-shattering effect on the rest of the human population. Okay, so that's enough for the moment. In a second, I shall show you some of my work that's in here, the garden room, which you probably remember from the last video if you watched it. Some people have, believe it or not. Okay. Okay, well here we are again. Uh, most of these paintings are in my uh, previous video, you know, for those lucky enough to have watched it. Uh, but there are some new ones here. And up here, there's a painting I did based on a torn photograph that was found in uh, Bacon's studio, uh, Rhys Mews, uh, after he died. And it's just a picture of Bacon looking in through the door into his studio, and it's my attempt at uh, doing that. Over here, uh, there are two copies I did, uh, obviously not as good as Bacon's originals, but uh, two copies I did of uh, Isabel Rothstone uh, portraits, which I quite liked. I mean, I certainly like the Bacon ones, I'm not quite sure if I like mine. And then round here is one which I did uh, based on an Edvard Munch uh, painting, uh, which is, I like it. Not quite sure if my wife likes it, but I like it. And then, up here, well I've seen that before, that's a, a, just a portrait I did uh, of, a, a, of a, 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 a soldier who was unfortunately, uh, which is an understatement, uh, shot in Afghanistan. And I thought it showed the agony of war, really. And that's about it. The rest over here, you've seen already, I think, they were in the previous video. Right, here we are outside again, as it looks similar to what it was um, in the last video. Behind me, you'll see my mini art gallery that I built in the last three months by my own hand. But before we got there, just have a quick look in here at uh, some of the work I've done recently. Okay, it's a lot easier to get in than it, than it was in the last video. Uh, we can actually walk in quite clearly, mainly because a lot of the paintings that are here are now out in the mini gallery. Right. Well, <clears throat> this is where um, I'm working now, and it's a lot, it's a lot easier. You know, I can actually get access to my piano as well now, which is quite useful. So I sort of play that when I'm feeling, uh, you know, to, I've had a bit of inspiration. So that's quite nice to get access to that, and. Um, here we have 
some of my paintings that I've done. Uh, that is a, a copy of The Owls, again by Francis Bacon, uh, although to me it looks more like vultures. Here are some more, some more conventional ones that I've, I'm working on, haven't quite finished yet. And another one here which is of a similar vein. Okay. And here's a painting that um, I saw, I can't remember which art gallery it was, but it was at Salvador Dali, and I'm trying to uh, do that as well. I'm trying to do something with that. Okay. Right. Um, over here, uh, we've got some more paintings. Uh, some, you, you know, you, you recognise. These are not very good. Uh, that one. That one. That one, which is not very good at all. That one's a, a copy of a Peta, which I'm trying to work on, which is quite tricky. That one, which really should be that way. No, no, it shouldn't. To my card, no, it should be that way. No, it's fine. Not the first time. It's a thing about modern art. You never know which way it is. That one, which is looking better than I thought it did, to be honest with you. It's supposed to show power and lack of power. So that one's looking, mm, looking not bad. I'm going to continue with that one. That one's on a sideways view and then that one which is uh, two young people in wheelchairs out for a day out which I, um, I quite like that one that one I, I really like as well uh, 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 somebody uh, uh, going up on a stair lift uh, which uh, I quite, quite like that one uh, that one is really, again, it's a copy of an unfinished painting uh, by Bacon, which you can see if you wanted to see it. It was hanging in the um, Hugh Lane Gallery in Dublin when I went across there to have a look at uh, the reconstructed studio. <coughs> that one, which was an early one, which I did years ago, which I'm not finished yet, but I will finish it eventually. And then that one. And... That one, which I call Who's Close, based on the Jean-Paul Sartre, I think it was, play. And that one, again, a copy of one of Bacon's um, bullfight paintings. Okay, right. Well, that's basically it. We're now going to go out and we're going to have a look at my mini art gallery. Right, this is my <coughs> mini art gallery, which has just finished. And um, if we go in, we can have a look at it. Uh, right. Okay, now you can see it is mainly bacon stuff, isn't it? Uh, that's a painting I took from a photograph of the one, the, one of the George Zayac triptychs uh, hanging in the Tate which showed the reflections, you know, on the glass. That's his, um, the centrepiece, well, centrepiece and the left-hand piece, and a variation on the right-hand piece, so the Oresteia, uh, based on Aeschylus. These, I think you've seen in the previous video, my um, three Freud triptychs. The dog. Up there, my crucifixion based on a painting by Graham Sutherland, which ha hangs in St. Matthew's Church in Northampton. There's my copy of a uh, body, of, was it? not a body motion, but anyway, it's one, another bacon one. And behind that, actually, which I quite like, is um, a variation on the, on the Freud triptych. I call it Cascading Freuds. Over here, up there, body in motion. Down here, we've got. I can move these ones. Okay, right. We've got um, the woman throwing a bucket of water. 
the paralytic child, and I've added a few bits extra myself. Down here are, of course, the three Furies, the triptych, which is in Tate Britain. Um, a figure in grass, I think it is. Uh, another one of the George Dyer from the Tate. George Dyer from the Tate. George Dyer from the Tate. Here we've got a bullfight. Not finished. Bullfight. Could be finished. And bullfight. Quite like it. Quite like this down here. I'm quite happy with that. And anyway, so that's it basically. Oh, and up here, of course, my um, Picasso. Picasso's um, Weeping Woman. And Salvador Dali's. Um, or a variation on anyway, Salvador Dali's Premonition of Civil War. Okay. This all behind you. I forgot what was behind you. Monk's Scream. Well, my scream, based on Monk's Scream. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit near. So there we are. Right, thank you for watching. Uh, well, perhaps we'll do another f uh, another uh, video uh, in the summer when the leaves are out on the trees. Okay.